who come back to help her dad. Let's explore how to make an aviator predictor bot in Telegram for 2025. First, aviator is a popular game, but it's important to remember that prediction bots are generally unreliable and may even violate the game's terms of service. Using them is at your own risk. Building such a bot requires programming knowledge and access to the Telegram bot API. Consider alternative strategies, like responsible gambling instead. Al, let's dive into the prerequisites. You'll need a programming language. Python is recommended, due to its libraries for Telegram bots and data analysis. You'll also need a Telegram bot API token, which you can obtain by creating a bot using Botfather on Telegram. Web hosting specifically a VPS or cloud platform like AWS, Google Cloud, or Azure, is optional but recommended for 24-7 uptime. Key libraries and frameworks include Telepot or Python Telegram Bot for the Telegram Bot API, requests for HTTP requests, Beautiful Soup for or Scrapey for web scraping, if applicable, Pandas for data analysis, and Scikit-learn for machine learning if you attempt prediction, keeping the disclaimer in mind. Finally, you'll need a data source for Aviator game data. This is problematic because obtaining reliable data is difficult and may involve using an API, if available, or web scraping, which could violate the game's terms. You'll also need to understand the data structure, such as historical multiplier values. EXT, let's walk through the bot setup. First, Install the required libraries using pip install telepot requests beautiful soup for pandas scikit learn or the equivalent command for your setup. Then, initialize your Telegram bot using your API token to create a bot instance and define command handlers, such as slash start or slash predict. After that, implement basic bot functionality like the slash start command to greet users and provide instructions. Handle other basic commands, like slash help as needed. Al, let's discuss data acquisition, with the important disclaimer that this is ethically questionable. If an API is available, use the request library to make API calls to the Aviator game, handling authentication and rate limiting, and parsing the JSON response to extract relevant data. If an API isn't available, you might try web scraping using Beautiful Soup for or Scrapey to extract data from the Aviator website, identifying the HTML elements containing the multiplier values. Be very mindful of the website's terms of service and robots.txt. Finally, store the acquired data in a suitable format like a CSE file or a database. Al, let's move on to prediction logic, but I must emphasize again that this is highly unreliable and should be used with extreme caution. You will need to perform data pre-processing, cleaning and formatting the data for machine learning and handling any missing values. If you're attempting prediction, create relevant features from the historical data, such as moving averages or time-based features. Select a suitable machine learning model, such as regression or time series analysis, but be aware that Aviator is a game of chance and true prediction is impossible. Train the model on the historical data and evaluate the model's performance, but don't expect good accuracy. Finally, use the trained model to predict the next multiplier value, but always remember the disclaimer. Al, let's integrate this with Telegram. Implement a prediction command, such as slash predict, to trigger the prediction process. Fetch the latest data from your data source within Telegram. Use your trained model, if applicable, to generate a prediction. And finally, format the prediction and send it to the user via the Telegram bot. ETs consider deployment and maintenance. Deploy your bot to a server by uploading your bot code to your chosen hosting platform and configure the bot to run continuously. Implement error handling to catch exceptions and log errors. Monitor the bot's performance and identify any issues. And regularly update your code to address bugs and improve performance. In conclusion, 
we've recapped the steps involved in creating an aviator predictor bot. I want to reiterate the disclaimer about the unreliability of prediction bots and suggest exploring alternative strategies for responsible gaming. Consider the ethical implications and potential legal consequences, and I want to strongly warn you against using prediction bots for real money gambling. Thanks for watching. See you next time on Helper Dad.